morning. This morning we woke up, it was a little bit chilly, so we were going to light the range, you know, we thought, no, we, we got a job. Um, the chimney sweep did a good job. He got the range going, as you saw when we were cooking the pasta the one night. So we know it worked. The drawback is we were getting a lot of smoke coming from around the plate around here. So what I did do was put some, I had for the, the diesel heater, which I still haven't set up, for around the exhaust pipe, I had some um, exhaust pipe fiberglass wrap, so it's not too, too hot. Um, so I actually put that under the plate, and after a few days of heat, it did, the plate settled down and the smoke stopped coming out. It then decided it was gonna come from some rouse. So now, when we have the range going, the smoke comes from under here all the way along. So what we've done, let me chuck the camera down to have a look. What we've done, we have bought some, just from Screwfix, some Flowmaster fire paste. We had a read on the internet. Um, heat makes it go hard, it's like concrete. And looking, when we first came, I couldn't really understand why they'd concreted the hot plate and now I know why, because all of the smoke plumed out. But that answers what the concrete stuff is. It's this fire cement, and you use it in flues, um, if you've got gaps in between bricks in your chimney, so you put the fire cement in, and uh, it's supposed to stop the smoke coming out. It's ready mixed, apparently. You don't have to mix it in the pot. I'll put some gloves on in a minute. So it does actually look like cement. So we'll see, let me grab some gloves. And it says to use a, a trowel. So I've got a scraper. So there's the scrapers. So, You can feel the gap. The, hot, the whole hot plate, I don't know if you can see on the camera, is warped. It's all bent up in the middle. Um, so then there's no seal along here. And that's why the hot plate smokes as well. The range has seen better days. Uh, we've been having a look and you can get secondhand, secondhand ranges which will do uh, hot water and radiators. Um, there's no point in us getting one now. We're not ready for hot water and tanks and everything like that. So it would be a waste of money because I don't think you can run a range which has a boiler in it and the boiler be dry. I think it burns out. So let's see how this goes. We have been like the range every day because it has warmed the, um, the house up and start drying the walls out. But every time we light it, we think, oh, son, we need to do the uh, fire cement. Only really smokes when we open the when we open the door to put more um, more wood in. That's when it seems to smoke. But there is no real good seals. We can see that's loose.
excuse the salt lamp in the oven. The oven has only ever got to about 100 degrees. The salt lamp was absorbing too much moisture out of the air um, and the whole area below the salt lamp was soaking wet. So for now we just keep it in the oven. Like I say, 100 degrees maximum is all the oven gets to, it just doesn't work. The salt lamp is quite happy in there, nice and dry. <laughs> really see what I'm doing. Let me move the camera. Let's see what we can see. So up along here, the light. That's where the gap was all along there. Underneath. So that's what I'm filling at the moment. normal to have a salt lamp in your oven, everyone should have one. We're also finding where extra airflow is getting into the fire, the, the logs um, or the peat blocks, the briquettes are burning a lot, lot quicker than we want them to, so it's costing us more than it should really, we hope. sets hard. If you then have smoke when you check it, just apply some more to the areas where the smoke's coming out. So it's not like you have to get it perfect in the first go. So we're just having a we're just having a chat of whether to take out the fiberglass which we put in um, and put the fire cement in and we've decided we will do um, so I'm gonna do that before I like These, these are new to us because it's not something you see every day. This this one really is poorly. It's really damaged. Let's sort this camera out. So basically your fire sits in here. Um, the flames come up 
and they get sucked across the top of the oven. And if I'm explaining this wrong, I'm sure there's somebody who knows a lot more about it than I do. So this baffle, when you'd first light your fire, you'd open the baffle so the chimney would suck the air through the bottom of the oven, up here, across. And once, you, once your fire's going, you would then shut the baffle, which would direct the heat over across the top of the oven, down the side of the oven over here. So that would come down the side in there and then around the bottom. And I think from there, I think the smoke would then go up, up the bottom of the oven and then up the back. But because we've only got half a baffle, and not a whole baffle, our range isn't very efficient, which is why the oven doesn't get very hot. Another reason the oven doesn't get very hot could be the fact that it's all rotten and broken. But it's keeping us warm, it's drying the house out. That's the key with, um, with this range. So this is the fiberglass wrap for the exhaust pipe I used. And you can see it's taken the shape of it nicely. And I think really once a little bit of soot got into it, it then sealed it. But the only place that's fit for is the bin. You can buy the um, ceiling rope to go around here, but again, because it's so bowed, the ceiling rope wouldn't be sufficient to cause a seal. And I think that's what the fiberglass tape was doing, was acting like the ceiling rope. tend to block this up quite quickly.
¿no? This stuff says that you can just clean your trowel and your bits and pieces with soap and warm water. So that's handy. Let's get a fire lit. Thank you. 
So fire's well and truly lit, a couple of blocks of peat on it, which is why the smoke's coming out. But the job is not pretty. I don't think I ever said it would be pretty though. It really isn't pretty. But we've got no smoke coming out the top of the hob section now. Under here, that's worked. You can't really see it, unfortunately. But all of that's worked. And there's no smoke coming out of there. So we have a little bit of smoke which comes out of this part of the ring. I'm not sure if it had the, um, the rope the fiberglass rope around it, I've got to look into that, but that's the only part the smoke comes out. And at the end here, a little bit of smoke comes out. So I might be able to get some uh, fire cement in there just to fiddle that. On a whole though, it's a really, really good job with regards to stopping the smoke coming out. Where the rope's gone on the back of this door, the rope should, this is red hot, the rope should go around there. So we're gonna get some of that. Because when you open this bottom door, that's still got some in. It's very old, so that seals a lot better, although you don't get much smoke out of there. And the oven's still sealed, although it's very dirty, that's still got its sealing rope in as well. So the fire cement certainly worked. I've given it all a sweep down. I will give the, the front a clean as well, just so it looks a little bit cleaner more than anything else. Um, heat off, it's absolutely incredible. So there we go, that's that job done.